Information, please. How do the red letters get into a stick of seaside rock? Now, this is the story of two words, Brighton Rock, and how they find their way into the heart of a favourite confection. Here's the original suite in preparation at a North London factory. This machine stretches the sweet into a rubbery mixture, giving it a smooth texture and making it pliable for easy handling later. And here's the lettering department. Thin strips of red and white sweet stuff are cut to length and fitted together one by one so that the visible ends form the outline of a letter. Each letter is built up in this way. Brothers George and Jerry Toll, between them, have been making rock for 56 years, a skill handed down from their father, who was at it for 48 years. Each letter is now about two inches high and half an inch thick. In the finished stick, it will be stretched to no more than a tenth of an inch. All the individual letters are now assembled into a single slab. Separate lumps of sweet, spelling Brighton and Rock, are now wrapped around a center of white sweet, the whole weighing about 200 weight. Assembled, it measures three feet six inches and a foot thick. Still in a soft, doughy state, it molds easily in skilled hands. Next, it's rolled into shape like a huge Swiss roll. All hands to the pulley as the lump is raised at one end to be stretched. Stretching is done by hand, 180 yards of succulent sweet that started as a lump not much longer than a walking stick. It's all taken about 50 minutes from boiling to the finished stick. Nine hundred and sixty-six inch lengths of rock. And all the way through, a message spelling paradise to every kid, Brighton Rock. 